properly executed bathroom remodel holds and adds value to your home. And it all begins with the planning phase. Okay, so let's just take a quick look at this vanity setup. You've got wall to wall for mica. You've got a top mounted sink. You've got a chrome faucet. You've got wall to wall mirror. Does it work? Yes. Is it modern? No. It needs to be changed. It needs to be modern. It needs to be upgraded. Look at the shower. You have a single lever valve with a single shower. You've got an old inexpensive shower door. You've got an entrance that's about nine inches high. You've got a fiberglass seat and the shower may look large but internally it's small. Not much we can do with this toilet here except maybe use a little less water every time we flush it. This toilet currently uses about three and a half gallons of water. We'll cut that down to 1.26. Makeup area, alcove. If you see the size of the vanity, that's a, a piece of furniture that's not even used. Once the plan has been approved, we enter the demolition phase. This particular bathroom is in the middle of a home, so we can't expand on the walls or the area of the bathroom. So basically, the fixtures are gonna be in the same place that they were, but we're paying attention to low flow consumption and quality of product. After the demolition phase, we enter the reconfiguration phase of the job. If you look at the photo on the left, we install a thermostatically controlled shower valve. Above that, those two white plastic Handles are transfer valves. One of them will send water to a shower head. The other one will send water to a handheld personal spray. On the right hand side, because we're getting rid of that long vanity cabinet and we're putting in a freestanding cabinet, we've shortened the drain and water piping and we've lowered them to accommodate an undermount sink instead of the drop in sink that was um, in the earlier photos. So once all our plumbing, our wiring, our ducts, venting are complete, we start to close up the walls. We start to put everything to the next phase of where the job is going to go. You see the concrete board, waterproof, we're starting the tile phase of this job. The border, very nice, I like that border. But this is the phase where we really start to put all of our hard work to, closer to the finished product. And this is the finished phase of the job. This is where all the planning, all the time in the beginning pays off. Because we want this bathroom to look like we envisioned it in our minds. And on this particular job, I think it came out exactly like the homeowner anticipated. See the smaller alcove now? There's a fine piece of furniture there with a beautiful undermount sink, granite top. The wall-to-wall -to -wall mirror is gone. There's a beautiful wood mirror that matches the vanity with lighting above, little storage below. It's very modern, very sleek. If you remember the earlier photos from the shower valve with the thermostatic valve and the two transfer valves, the two handles on top of the now the transfer valves. The one in the middle that you see there is the thermostatic valve. And the handheld to your left and the shower head above to your right. Tiles complete, beautiful custom door has been installed. This particular bathroom has a very nice floor, good for the feet, therapeutic. And the threshold, you see how much smaller it is. Much easier to get into the shower. I mean, this is the same physical size room, a completely different bathroom. Again, the toilet, less water consumption. For your next bathroom remodel project, call Plumbers Plus. We have two locations, in Watertown and in Southington.